This video is a basic introduction to the ideas of momentum and impulse, along with some simple examples of how to calculate these things. So let's take a look at momentum first. And the momentum for a particle is just the mass times the velocity. And it's, it's key to remember here, the momentum is actually a vector quantity. So we just got done talking about energy, which was a scalar quantity, it's just a number but momentum has direction too. Real quick, the units of momentum, they don't get any special name. It's just the units of mass times the units of speed. It's a kilogram meters per second. And you may ask, why are we defining this new quantity mass times velocity? And the answer is that under certain circumstances, it's a conserved quantity and it gives us a powerful new problem solving tool. Let's look at impulse. An impulse is simply a change in momentum. So I could write delta P. And anytime I have a delta, I just think of it as final minus initial. So you're just going to take whatever the final momentum is uh, for, for this particle and then subtract whatever the initial momentum is and you get a vector pointing in the direction of the momentum change. So let's check out an example. In this example, I have an 800 kilogram car moving 10 meters per second, and I want to know what the momentum is. And it really is just as simple as multiplying mass times velocity. This is a one dimensional setting, so we can take care of direction with plus and minus signs. So I have momentum is mv, that's 800 kilograms, multiplied by a positive 10 meters per second, which gives me 8,000 kilogram meters per second. In the second case, I have this 800 kilogram car now speeding up from 10 meters per second to 20 meters per second, and I want to know what the change in momentum is. So I would take P final minus P initial, each of those calculated using mass times velocity. So I get 800 kilograms times the 20 meters per second minus 800 kilograms times 10 meters per second. So my final momentum was 16,000 kilogram meters per second. My initial was 8,000 kilogram meters per second. And that means I have a change in momentum of a positive 8,000 kilogram meters per second because the car is moving faster to the right than it was in the initial state.